you know, I'm Challenger, I have no life, but right now it's preseason, so let's try out some new shit. Previously on Dragon Balls in a Mouth, we were at 405 LP, and in the next game, I played Shivana. Guess what I did all game? Uh, for like a good 10 minutes, that's right, I farmed. I did absolutely nothing but put wards in enemy jungle and farm the shit out of everything I saw. Except I finally go somewhere for a kill. Like the enemy jungler, he was 1-0-4 while I was 1 assist and uh, did have more farm and sometimes I would participate in these team fights when it's needed, right? Like this one. But yeah, I was like irrelevant in the early game, just couldn't find anything. Also, some people have said take exhaust on Shivana, take uh, ignite on Shivana. Don't do that. You have to remember, Ghost got buffed in Season 6, so it makes sense that she should now use it. But yeah, in patch 6.24, you should be going Fervor into Skirmisher Saber, or, well, no Skirmishers, but he should be going Frozen Mallet. Titanic Hydra would be kind of good, but like, just so expensive, like, ugh. There were multiple comments in my last video about what to build on Shivana, but apparently the real build is going like Blood Razor into Frozen Mallet, which makes sense, as you need some kind of CC, I think, and hit point. So I'll try that in uh, Season 7, but I will say I haven't tried it yet. Also, one thing I see that people take on Shivana is they go attack damage on her in the runes and like, not 29% attack speed. I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, why do you need attack damage? Your E literally does a bajillion damage to monsters in the jungle, so why not abuse that on hit proc? Like, AD is pretty useless on her. There's a reason you don't see full AD Shivana videos, and I don't care if like low ELO is taking AD on them, but like high ELO players, some of them go AD on her when obviously attack speed reds and quints is the way to go. Cause well, most of your damage does come from on hit, right? Either way, this game that I'm playing right now, I basically farmed the whole game and uh, yeah, that's basically it. But I'm finally being useful in the mid game by going to these team fights and wrecking some havoc. Now, I really didn't actually want to come back for this team fight, like, because I don't have my dragon form, but I think my team wanted me to, but I could have got the bottom tower. But um, we do win this team fight. I don't know if I was needed. I also ignored that pink ward because top tower has more priority. So yeah, I'll get the pink ward later. But now they start sieging up mid lane again, and I actually do recall this time and I'm confident on it because, well, I have my ultimate. Although I do make a mistake in this team fight, which is using my E before I use my ultimate so I don't get that big scorched earth thingy. That was like the only mistake I made. But either way, our team fighting is actually really good. So it doesn't really matter how much mechanical mistakes are made in these team fights where our team just has better team fighting. So that's good. And we do catch this bard right about here. After this, we run it down mid and get a tower. Also, our karma gets sniped. Now, I want to try something. I want to sneak in this bush to see if I can 1v1 her. And I try and wait until her Q's down. And also, when I see she's about to use her ultimate, I use my ultimate because it's unstoppable. But by doing this play, it's a, it's a pretty greedy play because my team needs to be pressuring something. Otherwise, if I die, then my team won't get anything out of it. And this Jin ultimate, I try and juke him. There's one and then there's two. And now he finally figures out my pattern, so I just do the opposite of what I did before. And yeah, he actually gets nothing out of it, but I do die. Luckily, my team actually gets the enemy Jace at the same time, so it's not that bad, but it's one of those solo plays that can actually get your team behind. The thing is, you gotta try this shit because I've never done it and I know how to win, but I want to try something new. Because if you don't try something new, you'll never learn. But now you learn, and uh, you shouldn't be doing those plays. Anyways, right here, I'm just basically wanting to go in this gin. Uh, but now I'm being like attacked by everyone. Oh, I did not expect any of this. Luckily, Redemption and Shields are protecting me, so I live. Okay, well I don't live, but guess what? My team ends up uh, ends up killing most of them. And uh, since we have Baron, we can push in, and yeah, we basically went off that. The next game is where I play with a pineapple on my head, and you guys probably watched that already, so we'll skip it. Now in the next game, we play Ivern, and I'm doing a little cheese, but uh, this actually gets interesting. So they know I'm doing the cheese, and I'm just trying to get out, and this Q doesn't hit the red buff for some reason. So I can't warp to it, and uh, I die. I don't think I would have died if my Q hit the red buff, but I don't, I'm pretty sure, well, uh, like what? So I'm pretty pissed and I'm like, you know what? It's time to do some cheesy shit like uh, gank when I'm behind. And I just walk in behind this guy. I put the shield on myself. I don't actually want to use my Q until I slow him just so I can get a more accurate Q. And yeah, he dies for that. And then I come top lane because my top lane says he has no flash. And uh, well, it is an easy kill on Dyrus since he is playing that Kindred top lane. So again, do the same combo. Make sure he's slowed so he can land your Q and uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we catch a Lee Sin in the river because we kind of saw him in the river because we had some wards and right here, it gets pretty feisty. Now what mechanical play can we analyze to see what we did wrong? Um, 
The only thing that I could have done better was cue the karma outside, so then maybe we can all warp to her after we kill this twisted fate, but that's the only thing. It is very interesting to see the plays you can make if you just look at the things you could have done better. For instance here, this guy is just waiting until I do an animation, but we do still kill him with my E and then this karma... Hmm, makes a big outplay on our Cassiopeia. Now one of the reasons why I picked Ivern and kind of went charred this game was because they had a Lee Sin on their team. And whenever I see the enemy pick like some like tryhard pick, I get pissed off. And I kind of want to pick OP shit myself because it means they're trying to go tryhard or something. So I don't want them to win and I got to teach them a lesson. As for the lesson in top lane, I was trying to gank, but a lot of people appeared. And um, it's very hard for me to do anything right here. The AI on my Daisy is actually being really stupid, so she's being useless and I have to kind of manually control her. But like, I think she's like really stupid right now. Like, I actually tried to order her to kill Kindred, but she didn't get the auto attack on her for whatever reason. And I don't know, her AI still sucks, I think. Now of course the play here is to go on the other side of the blast plant so she can't go over, uh, but she still dies over here. Now I don't know what this Lee Sin is doing, like, what? And then he dies, but you know one thing I don't like is uh, the Ziggs Q because right now it's invisible for me. I actually can't see any of it right now and it's a big glitch and the only way to like fix it I think is to come back in the client. Um, now this team fight, um, all you have to do is just run around in circles and pretend you don't die. But yeah, watch the Ziggs Q. Like watch, just watch. Oh, that's the W. Oh, see? You can't see the Q. You can see a splash of the Q, but you can't see it. Like, like here, she just took a bunch of damage from, like, a splash of nothingness. But yeah, this team fight super awkward for me. Like, it's super hard. You have to be very on point, dodge every skill shot, etc. Oh, man, it's just, it's just horrible. I could have shielded him there, but he had black shield, but it just wore off, so feels bad, man. Yeah, I actually do live. Anyways, we just won the team fight, and now we're kind of trolling and uh, trying to end the game right now but obviously you can't do that because well it's two nexus towers and people are respawning so it's kind of hard um but we do kill Lee Sin on the way out and you would think we'd win this team fight now and everyone's going kind of ham but that actually doesn't happen and everyone starts dying so you know what I do well I just kind of leave the area and peace out there's nothing I can do anyway so no point in staying right yeah there's no point in staying Anyways, right here is a double kill that Cassiopeia actually gets, so since we get the double kill, we can actually do Baron off this, and yeah, we get the Baron. Now, my team actually pings this tower and says, wow, it's really low, we should get that, so I'm like, okay. And you might be wondering why I flashed over. Either way, we win the game off uh, getting Baron, and our team is just super powerful, and yeah, easiest win of my life. And we get some of that LP that doesn't really matter too much. In the next game, we play Twitch Jungle. You may be wondering, why are you playing Twitch Jungle? Because I was feeling cocky and I wanted to try something fun. That's why. If there's anything I learned about Twitch Jungle though, it's uh, don't rush skirmish your saber. This is a stupid item because your W doesn't actually proc um, the talisman. Like, true damage doesn't proc that shit. So, yeah, it really sucks, but oh well. At least your E still does because, you know, how it works with your... Well, you know how Twitch works, so you get the idea. But it is pretty stupid that true damage doesn't affect talisman at all. Feels bad. Also, I didn't think I would take so much damage, but thankfully, this Jin gets exhausted and I don't actually die, and true damage finishes off this Karma, so I'm happy. Now this Karma right here, she actually doesn't have any map awareness, because obviously you can see us clearing a ward right here, but she still dies anyways. And so we get a kill right here. Now you may be wondering, are you going to play Twitch Jungle when Season 7 starts, which it already has? And the answer is no, because it's too troll. Plus, he also got nerfed this patch, and we have to focus Ryze in every team fight because he has like 7 kills right now or something like that, but he's just super fed and a big threat and this poppy right here actually gets an e off through the wall which is pretty good for us so i just flash in and my e actually misses because she is in the air but my true damage is still op anyways i actually walk in their jungle wanting this blue buff but holy shit i actually walk in a really sticky situation luckily skirmishers and exhaust makes them kind of useless in this team fight also i've built them off just because Jin is their only AD and I won't be getting hit by him too much except for that last team fight. And like here's just a split up team fight where I just basically shit on their front line because I don't know, Twitch is just OP like that. And then there's a Rise here, which is, you know, pretty easy to kill, but he flashes away for no reason. 
And then here I'm like, oh my god, I can get so much kills. Somehow my stealth actually goes away. Flash doesn't actually do that. But apparently I was in range of auto attack, but it cancelled or something. So it revealed my stealth. But uh, yeah, I got crit by Jin. And I was a little too hypey. But I really wanted my pentakill, but... Anyways, I'm sneaking up behind their assholes, and I'm a little scared because there's a pink ward right here. So I don't want to kind of go all in, because they could actually just turn on me. The Zac just goes straight on me, which is fine, because I can duel him, because I have Maw. Um, but yeah, I think it was a good call to just step away until the team fight breaks out, and they have attention somewhere else. Because otherwise, I would get focused down immediately. But uh, we do win the team fight, because Nasus got picked off earlier. Now this team fight, I easily get Karma, she actually dies right here, but our Ash is actually dead, and our Thresh actually dies a little bit later, and it's just me and Poppy, so I'm just like, you know what, is this really good team fight? I'm actually thinking about, you know, ditching away, because it's 4v2 right now, but I actually should have done that actually a little bit earlier, because then now I got chased down, and it feels kind of bad, but yeah, that team fight was pretty ugly, I definitely should have flashed away earlier and just tried to get out. Now you can see I went the Bloodraiser build on Twitch because, I don't know, I actually think warrior might uh it's hard to say because i think warrior is better for late game since you're going crit but like maybe blood is better for the early game i'm not 100 percent sure though anyways i just do a play here because i want to sneak up on this guy's asshole um and he gets caught oh he almost actually kills me but i had skirmishers on him so i live but barely and you can see in this team fight why i'm the best it's because i ignore the zack and uh, try and go in their back line to be honest but uh not really I don't really care about their front line, their front line is like complete garbage is shit. It's not garbage, it's just they're kind of like, you know, not too much of a threat. And I know I can duel their back line, 1v2 even. Unless that bitch has exhaust, then I can't. Either way, that was the last team fight, and uh, we win the game. And then Twitch Jungle goes into retirement. I just got a lead in that game, so that's why, yeah, that's why I did good. In the next game, I play Vayne, but guess what happens? I feed... Sing the song for a broken heart <laughs> And then I do this. And then I win the game. And then I play Lee Sin, but this is for this is gonna be used for another video. So we skip this game. And then I have a Hecarim and Jax game, which I actually wanted to do more of an informational commentary live on, but in highlights form. So it'll actually be out tomorrow. And I just wanna see if people will like it or not. So hopefully that'll go well. But in the next game, I wanna play Malzahar because He's going to be my mid laner for season 7 and I want to practice him. There are also these changes that happened to his W which I didn't really understand but it seems like basically all they're used for is to push the lane a little bit faster and not as oppressive in team fights as they should be so yeah I guess that's about it. They're also nerfing Rylai's Crystal Scepter next patch, but I think it'll still be good on him. I'm not 100% sure about that though. But right here I get caught out and uh, you know, this game is not really looking too good. One of the big bad things I did was go into isolation range, although I think I still would have died anyways. And then right here is uh, is not really a misplay. I didn't think he'd jump in, so I missed my Q and he doesn't die. Well, he does now. And our Echo actually alts off and gets back to the base. Anyways, look how smart I am right here. So my team is actually getting a pick and I see Jin over here. And so I know my teammates don't need their help. So I'm just like, Jin can either go upright or he can go through this mid lane and we get an easy pick on him. Because I thought, you know what? There's a possibility of us killing him right here. How smart am I? So smart that I died a little bit later. XD. Now we actually did the Baron right here because we can see a lot of people are in the bot lane. So yeah, there's just like three people here and we're like, you know what, since we're all topside, why don't we just start it, right? There's nothing to stop us except for this Kha'Zix who I'll actually ult as soon as he's in range. He does have QSS, but he does it a little bit too late and uh, he dies. Now I do like how my suppress actually stops jumps and all of that stuff. It's very interesting that uh, people can't dash to me. Um, but if there's one stake I made during this game was that... I didn't go uh, Zonia's, I was going for Lee Andre's, which isn't that good because they're all squishy, there's no tanks, so there's no point of it too much really in this game, but yeah, I definitely should have gone um, Zonia's because I need the survivability to unleash my utility and damage spells. Now there is a big Womble combo coming up right here, 
Yeah, such a big wombo combo. I loved it. Unfortunately, Karma gets away. It's really sad, but ooh, that wombo combo is so good. And uh, right here is actually going to be a really interesting play that I made on my own. So look at mid lane, look at top lane. You know, those people in the mid lane want to help their top lane. And I'm like, wait a minute, they're actually going to be right about here. And if I can actually get any of these kills, it's actually going to be GG. So what I do is I flash in for a kill on obviously Annie uh, once Vayne actually is here to clean up some kills. So this play. It was kind of smart, because I knew if we got a kill somewhere, we could actually end the game. And that's why I ghosted a little bit prematurely to get some, uh, you know, some of that mobility. And yeah, we win the game, and we actually end off at this amount of LP. So 554 LP is my ending LP, which actually doesn't matter at all. That's why that's why you shouldn't try in the preseason. Well, you should, but it's just you gotta try out new shit. And uh, that's, yeah, this is actually gonna be the concluding video for the preseason, and tomorrow's video will be those two Jackson Heckram informative commentary video, which I want to see how people would react to it, and uh, yeah, hopefully it does good, and yeah, and yeah, the next of this series will actually be the Season 7 Challenger to Rank 1 video, and uh, hopefully it's a little bit more spicier. Hopefully. Yeah. I hope it is. Anyways, if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like. But also, leave a like for this new shitty YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you want to. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.